Hello YouTubers, this is Jeff again. Uh, today we're going to be working on the 360. Uh, we're going to be changing the front trunk lift struts. I noticed a week or two ago that they were getting uh, weak and um, I was afraid that if I was at a show or something and a little kid or something came over and they hit the, the trunk lid that uh, it would fall and smash your hand. So I wanted to take care of that so that doesn't happen. Uh, I'll show you what I purchased. It's a fraction of the price of uh, the new ones from Ferrari. The Ferrari ones are around $400 a piece. Uh, you can purchase these for like $35 a piece. And uh, we'll go ahead and I'll show you those and then we'll get started on changing those. All right. Okay, the trunk lift struts that I purchased uh, are right here. Uh, they come with, um, well, these are two separate. Uh, it's like $37 a piece, $35, $37 a piece. Uh, and each one comes with new these new balls, sockets, and that. So um, we probably won't need these unless they're a different size, but uh, I've already checked. They're they're the same size, so I probably won't need those unless they're worn out, which I don't believe mine are worn out. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll compare those to the new ones in length. I have my trunk open, and um, there's the old lift strut, and then, um, here is the new one. A um, little different ends on them. Um, the length is the same. So um, that's the biggest thing. And also these actually come in different um, weights. This, the original one's 200 newton meters, which um, I'd have to look to see what that is in inch pounds or foot pounds. But um, the, the biggest thing is the length. And um, so we're gonna go ahead and I'll put this new one down and then to get the old one off, it has these spring clips on both sides. You have one down here and then one up here. And you can just take a um, pick or a small screwdriver. And I'm going to raise my, rest my head underneath the hood so it doesn't fall on me. So I'm going to take the pick and uh, kind of put it underneath this. There's a slot here and pull this out. And uh, it should release that. Like I said, you want to support the hood so you don't want it falling on you. So once I got, see, I got it released there. And then the same thing on the bottom. Okay. There it is. So you can see that the old one is removed and the balls look fine. They're not wore out, so I don't have to change the, the balls. Um, so let's go ahead and then we'll take a look at the uh, newer ones. Okay, the newer one is a little different design. Instead of having those springs, they have like a little wire that goes through the ends. Okay, if you can see that. So what you do on those, basically, is uh, you take, I don't know if I can do this with one hand, the wire kind of wraps around the shaft here, and uh, you kind of flip it up. I'm trying not to lose it. Okay, now I, I kind of flipped those up. I mean, you can kind of see here. It kind of wraps around the shaft, so you kind of just take it, and then it slides out. And then uh, when you go to install it, you just put it on the ball, and then slide this through the two holes on the side here and uh, put it through the holes and then just snap it around the shaft and it should be good. So you want to do that on both sides here. So let's do that. Get it released over here. Okay. So don't lose these springs because it doesn't come with new ones. So I'll take the springs out and then uh, I'll get it ready here to install. So both springs are out. And then I go over here and then open this back up. OK, 
Okay, so I had the hood back open. And I'm gonna set that right there for a second. Kind of rearrange my hands and stuff. So I'm gonna slide this on here and then slide on the bottom for right now. You just gotta be careful for it to not to fall down. Kind of force it on there. Okay, so I had to force it kind of on there. I had to use both hands. I'm sorry about that. I couldn't tape that. So then you just take this spring and you kind of catch it in that hole there. If you can see. Same on the top. It should go through the top hole. And then once it's in there, you should just be able to snap it into place. Same thing with the bottom one. Now the bottom one's gonna be more difficult because the hole's on the bottom. So I'm probably gonna have to put that in and put the camera down to do that. Okay, now I have both clips installed. Like you said, you can see that the one is wrapped around the shaft here on the bottom and the top. And uh, it's, it's all the way on both ends. So it's not gonna fall off. So uh, we'll repeat that same step on this side over here. Okay, so now that I got both sides installed, um, and you can see now, it, it doesn't want to fall like it did before. Uh, before, it was really easy. I mean, you could barely touch it, and it would fall down and all the way close to the closed position. So now it's it'll open up by itself. So. Um, You can see that it closes nicely, and uh, it'll open up. Like I said, this kind of opens up by itself. So, anyway, I guess that will complete the uh, strut change on the hood of a Ferrari 360. And the 430 should be the same. There should be no different. And then I'll put uh, where I bought these struts and everything in the description below the video. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll try to make a few more. Um, so I guess I'll see you next time. Thank you.